Happy New Year, everybody, and welcome to the January-February edition of Profile Moraine. I'm Dave Miller. And I'm Kendra Bryant, and today we have a full slate of interesting businesses that we're going to visit. So where are you off to first? First, we're going to go to Florit Company over on East River Road and check out their new facilities there. And I'm off to visit the good folks at the Greater Miami Flying Disc Club, who, and wait till you see, wait till you see the footage of this, the first ever nighttime disc golf tournament that was held up at the main Rotary Club's disc golf course at Deer Meadow Park. Then we'll stop by and see Rick Voltsey at Voltsey's Root Beer Stand since he has now reopened and is back in business. I can't wait for that one. I'm sure there'll be a laugh or two. All this and so much more on this edition of Profile Moraine. We will be visiting Randy Doherty, who is president and CEO of Florit Logistics on East River Road. They have just recently moved into their new facility, and he will explain what his business provides for the community. I started Florit Logistics in May of 2015, filling a void uh, after another transportation company moved out of the area. We moved into Moraine in November of 2016. Florit Logistics is uh, an LTL or less than truckload carrier uh, servicing the floor covering industry. We consolidate flooring in Georgia. It's loaded to, onto our trailers. We transport it to the Dayton area and distribute it out throughout Ohio. We do residential and commercial businesses, but they are, uh, it is uh, all businesses. We deliver to stores and commercial businesses alike. We're looking to get more into the warehousing and storage um, market since we've moved into the location in Moraine. Uh, we're looking forward to being able to store carpet for commercial businesses again. It's a very specialized sort of business just dealing with the, the floor covering industry. So it's not one that a, a customer would come in off the street. We wouldn't have much to offer that way. The only thing we sell is transportation, um, so uh, we don't own the goods coming out of Georgia. We just uh, do the transportation end of it. We uh, consolidate their freight in Georgia, You're picking up from the various mills. We transport it up here where it's delivered out locally to the stores and commercial businesses. Our customers actually own the carpet that comes up and we deliver it to them. And we just uh, provide the means of getting it from Georgia to them. We are community-minded, reaching out when, whenever we see a need. Just strictly donation for the community aspect of it. it uh, just strictly in donations. The company has, has donated and, and is still what yet will donate to through uh, churches that we work with. Okay. In five years, we would look to have a larger footprint, uh, possibly reaching out into Indiana, Michigan, uh, and, and into our delivery region. We look to hire around January. We look for to put on an additional clerical and drivers. Uh, we're located at 4218 East River Road. Our phone number is 937-395-3520. Our email is info at flooritlogistics.com. And you can also find us on Facebook. I've lived in Moraine most of my life and, and uh, I'm a part uh, of city. I am on city council, you know, so I, I uh, am involved with the city and I wanted to uh, be located within the city and do whatever I can um, in this area. This location is uh, uh, great for transportation. It's uh, directly off the interstate, very easy for our semis to get in and out. And, and it is also very close to home, so that helps uh, me greatly too. <laughs> I had warehouse space in Dayton and uh, this was the opportunity I needed to bring it all together uh, to have office and warehouse in one location. 
Yeah, that's it. It's just a transportation company. And, and we will eventually get into some other aspects as far as uh, one thing that we're looking to do uh, in the near future, we will probably go into padding sales where we will sell pad directly to our accounts, our, our customers, uh, and deliver that out on our local delivery trucks. So that's one thing we look to get into and possibly a uh, wholesale carpet sales at some point. We have uh, uh, three trucks that run local uh, and a couple of trucks that, that uh, run from Georgia to here. Once again, it's time for a very entertaining visit to Voltsy's root beer stand and we'll talk with Rick Voltsy. We got back open about six weeks ago and um, our soups are going real well. Everything is going good. The people are still coming back. And um, we're up to five days a week now, Monday through Friday. And then the 9th of January, we will then go to six days a week. So the soup sales are good, the food sales are good. And um, it's just so much fun when I could shoot spitballs talking to everybody without my teeth in today. I wish I knew you guys were coming, but that's okay. We have uh, cabbage roll soup on Monday through Thursday. And then on Friday, we start our soup rotation. We start out with cream of Vandalia onion, cheeseburger soup, chicken tortilla, chili, and then uh, a Polish soup called Kaluska. And um, that is a, it's got uh, bacon, ham, uh, sausage, potatoes, cabbage, and a chicken broth. A very mild flavor, but it's absolutely delicious. The broth just turns out always so good. That's called Kaluska. Well, we're still pushing the Betty Ann, which has gone real well. That's a double cheeseburger with double cheese, raw onion, pickle mayo. We now have a new chicken sandwich. It is a uh, chicken parmer or a chicken parmesan sandwich, provolone, and it's 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 absolutely delicious. And uh, you eat that, Michael Jackson comes out of your soul. You're moonwalking all over the place, and you say, "Give me four to go." Well, I woke up thinking about the new year. And at one time, I, I thought I got married again. And um, so I just was sort of went over like that. And I went, oh, God, no, nobody's there. So I did go to the bathroom, and it was really fine. Yeah, it's, uh, the, the phone number is 937-299-1440. It always helps a lot if you can call in. It gives me a little lead time so I can get you up out and get out of here. Because all call-ins I greatly appreciate. But I, agree, I appreciate all of it. And... Uh, I think the funnest part is coming back, so many people cared, and that, that makes you feel so good inside and grateful, and it's just fun seeing everybody and screaming at them and stuff like that. And when I, yeah, and when I don't have my teeth in, the spit balls are flying everywhere. So they're going like this, hey, Merry Christmas, Rick, Merry Christmas. Like that, they're ducking and going crazy. Merry Christmas, everybody. 937-299-1440. And the address is 4668 uh, 741 Springboro Pike. We're right next to DeVita Kidney Dialysis Center. So if any of my food hits you wrong, we can take you over there and pump you out. Well, do you know I had over 3,200 get wells that were posted on Facebook? And Facebook called me and said, do you know you set a record? I said, well, tell Zuckerberg to send me 10 million then. <laughs> On Profile Moraine, we promote our Moraine businesses. Our only service club in Moraine is the Moraine Rotary Club, made up of businessmen and businesswomen who give back to the community. Last September, they funded and built a disc golf course up at Deer Meadow Park. And for the first time, we had a nighttime tournament held there by a local disc club. Let's look at the fantastic footage and take a look at this great special event that took place that night. While well, a lot of the residents of Moraine were doing a zombie run, we were actually out at Deer Meadow Park um, throwing some frisbees around the new course, um, thanks to Dave Miller and the Moraine Rotary Club. Um, what this event was, was a annual glow event. We do throw in the dark um, and we shorten every hole so we can actually throw a closest to the pin on each hole so everybody has a really good chance of winning some prizes. So with, with our nighttime events, um, we always have to worry about lighting. You have to light up the baskets, light up the tea pad, light up the trees so there are no injuries, hopefully. Um, what we have to do is go out there 
a couple hours early, shorten the course up, and then add all of the lights. And then once that darkness comes, we start throwing. There are several different types of discs that are sold that you can buy for a GLOW event. First and foremost is a GLOW actual Frisbee. Purchase those from Hazy Shade here right here in Dayton, Ohio. You can also buy GLOW duct tape or just use the little two inch fishing GLOW sticks as well and tape those right to the top of your disc so you can find them easy. We are truly blessed in Dayton, Ohio because we actually have 80 courses within a 50 mile radius. If you'd like more information on all of the courses in Dayton, Ohio, go to discgolfcoursereview.com. That's going to be dgcoursereview.com. Within the 80 courses in the 50 mile radius of Dayton, we have a lot of courses to choose from. A lot of the courses don't have a fee to play on. We do a lot of socializing and networking amongst the people that we meet and um, anything on Facebook, Twitter, all of that good stuff to advertise um, what we're doing around the area. I try to talk to as many girls as I can that are interested in the sport because we do need more ladies out there playing with us. And so a good one is a Dayton Ladies League, league around the area to, to be in. Um, there's only a, a handful of us right now, but we hope to get that growing soon. So tips for a beginner. Disc golf actually plays the same rules as ball golf, except we're throwing a frisbee into a basket. The basics that you would need is a driver, a mid-range, and a putter. Um, I would recommend that a beginner doesn't use a very high speed disc. It's not going to be very well for you. Some easy tips, throw as flat as you possibly can um, for maximum distance. And some courses like Moraine have some tips on the welcome board as well. So if you're ever there and look up the board, um, there's some friendly, helpful tips as well. The Moraine course is actually me and Charles's home course. It's about five minutes down the road from us. It's very flat and it has really good open and wooded holes. Nothing too far, pretty easy. Um, it's set up as a great practice course. Um, so if you want something more challenging, go to discgolfcoursereview.com. There's more courses around there, but it's very fun. For more details, go to gmfdc.weebly.com. And also, if you're going to throw a GLOW event, make sure that you get permission from your local area to make sure that we're not getting in trouble for throwing events in the nighttime when the parks are closed. And that wraps up another edition of Profile Moraine. Join us next time for more happenings and events here in the city of Moraine. And for you New Year's resolution crowd that have a resolution to maybe lose some weight, get fit in 2017, Boy, do we have a solution for you. Stop by the City of Moraine Payne Recreation Center as they have spent over $100,000 last year remodeling the facility with new flooring and more equipment. So check out the weight room, the fitness room, the indoor running track, the basketball gym, and a lot, lot more if you want to get in shape this year. See you next time.